Hey everybody, it's been a while. Um, I am going to try and restart my video logging. So I decided I'd do a little intro piece here. It is May 28th and I haven't really done any logging since last summer. I was, um, at that time I was trying to do some logging where I talked about my training for doing um, the Bear 100. And I did manage to complete the Bear 100. I also completed Speed Goat uh, last year, so those were those were fairly large uh, accomplishments for me. Um, unfortunately, at the bear, I ended up um, I finished even though I knew that I was kind of I had a swollen knee and I knew I was probably damaging it more, but I really wanted the completion last year, so I did irritate my right knee pretty badly, and I had to take some time off after that to try to get the swelling to settle down and then to gradually come back into conditioning. So. I have not got quite the base mileage um, this year that I would like to have at this point going into the summer, but um, things have been going well. I've still managed to do a number of um, the local races that I like to do here. Uh, the Crown King Scramble 50K, which was my first ultra ever, and I've done it every year since then. Um, the Whiskey Basin 88K or 90K, depending on, on how you count it which is a, uh, a Prescott, Arizona local ultra. And so I try to do that every year. Um, and, and those have gone well. I haven't, I haven't raced them. I certainly didn't PR at those, but I've been able to complete them. The knee has been handling the, the ascent and the descent, uh, the descent being the more crucial part. So um, I am looking forward to, to ramping my mileage back up. We just did a bunch of travel. We had some repairs we needed to get to done for our RV and we decided to take that back to the manufacturer to do those. Plus they have a festival that we attended. And then we traveled across country um, to uh, Nevada where I did the Silver State uh, 50K. And I love that race. I've been doing that. That's my third year doing that race now. So um, that one went pretty well. Again, not a PR, but Considering the amount of ascent and descent that course has, I was, I was actually really happy with how that worked out. So um, I feel good about that. And I decided as I go into summer, um, even though we've only been back in Prescott for about a week, um, one of my goals while we were back here was to get my weekly mileage up over 100 miles per week and then hold that until we take off for Montana. Um, so that's going to be basically just holding at that level for two weeks. So that's high mileage for me, but I want to get that base mileage. And I know when we go up to Montana early in the season, it is hard for me to get the really long runs in because um, I don't tend to like doing smaller loops or out and backs repeated. Um, and there will still be quite a bit of snow on the, uh, on the ridges when we get there. So a lot of the uh, longer or bigger loops that I normally do um, are not accessible uh, or not runnable in June. So, um, so I know when I go up there my mileage is going to drop a bit and also I'll be dealing with getting altitude acclimatized um, because that area is higher than where I live here in Prescott. So, uh, so my goal was to, to do some, just for a couple of weeks here, do some big mileage while I'm here at home and not very fast, um, but just to try to do that. So today's run um, which I'll, I'll include some footage from today's run since I'm trying to get back into the video logging. And it was uh, just a little over 23 miles. Again, a lot of power hiking as well as uh, doing the downhill running. But the key is one of the reasons it's slower today is that my weekly mileage, my seven day mileage um, at the end of day yesterday was 132 miles. And I certainly haven't hit that kind of numbers in a while. Um, and then today, it's actually going to be a couple miles more than that um, uh, because I did a couple more miles today than I did last Tuesday. So, um, so with those larger mileage uh, totals for the week, uh, I, it's not about pace. It's just about time on feet, getting the tendons to be okay with that, getting the, the skin on the feet to be okay with that, and just putting in a lot of miles. Um, I enjoy this kind of training and I have the time to do it right now. Um, so this is what I'm trying to do as my prep for right before I go to Montana 
and then at that point the mileage will be less but I'll be at higher altitude and I'll be doing more ascent because the the routes that I do in that area of Montana are steeper um, much steeper on average than the routes that I do here in the uh, the Prescott National Forest so but it was a beautiful day to be out I'm excited about trying to do some some more regular logging um, one of the things I'm going to do this time with this video log series is I am not going to do as much editing. Uh, when I started this last year to try to document my training for Mountain Hundreds, um, I wanted to have captions on it and I wanted it to look nice and I was wanted to get the transitions to be good and um, I was also just experimenting with running some image stabilization software which was very time consuming as well as trying to do some audio leveling so that when I was running in a windy area that the, um, the wind noise wasn't too problematic. I've decided if I'm going to actually do this logging, I don't have time to do all that editing. So my plan instead is to just go ahead and take some video while I'm out on the trail and, and simply put that together and not worry about having a lot of editing. So these are gonna be more like raw video logs. It's gonna be, this is what I experienced, here it is. And I'll probably try to do either a little prequel shot, like um, you know, like what I'm doing now, or do it after the run, which is what I've done today, because I've already completed that run today, um, where the image won't be shaky, and I can talk a little bit more about what I'm trying to to work on in the this point in my training, or what's going on with the runs, or just even maybe an interesting story about something that happened on the run that I didn't have time or didn't think to say at the time uh, that that was going on. So, so today is mostly just about talking about trying to get my, my base mileage back up and, uh, and preparing for our trip to Montana because we're gonna be leaving at the end of this week. So it's Tuesday now, Tuesday, May 28th, and we are planning to leave on Friday. So my, uh, my runs actually for the rest of the week are not gonna be quite as long as today, although I'm still planning to, to end up with 100 miles for the week at the end of the week. So that's the plan. I hope you enjoy this slightly more raw version of my video logs for training. I am in the Granite Basin area today. Um, this is my last training outing in Granite Basin for spring of uh, 2019. Today is May 28th and the end of this week. I'm going to head on up to Montana and uh, get to enjoy the uh, probably very cold rainy weather up there. This has been an unusual spring. Uh, late May and two of my runs this week have been in sleet and really cold misty rain and high winds. So uh, while the weather's probably going to start getting better here, I do love to go to the mountains at the end of May or beginning of June. So that is our plan. Today, however, is a beautiful day in the Prescott National Forest. Um, I'm going to see if I can get back to doing some vlogging because the, you know, the terrain in Montana is just beautiful. The mountains there are beautiful. Um, I do love the Prescott Forest as well, but uh, I'm looking forward to my snow-capped scenery in Montana, even if I am going to have to layer up a whole bunch. So, but just wanted to get a little bit of video here. This is the forested section. I'll probably try to get a little video of the creek section later on. I'm in the mint wash area now and uh, coming up on the creek crossing. Amusingly, I haven't done this very much this year. The last time I came to this creek crossing, this entire area where I'm standing was underwater. Now it's a a pretty simple step across on the rocks. Um, 
but it was raging and I went quite a bit downstream to find a place where I could cross with dry feet because this was when it was still quite cold and I hit this crossing pretty early in the morning and I did not want to have wet feet at those temperatures. But it's a very pretty area. I like coming down here. I'm at Granite Basin Lake now. This is actually the lake where Mint Wash or Mint Creek starts from. Um, the overspill of the, the dam there. And I'm about 10 miles into today's run. This is another really beautiful area. There's a couple of fishermen out there right now. And a lot of these trees turn really pretty colors in the fall. And of course then they're bright green uh, in the spring when everything leaps up. And again, we're just having a gorgeous blue sky day today. Really beautiful area. And onward to go. I'm on trail 349, climbing up over a ridge at the edge of the basin. And I always like the views here, looking out over the forest at the cliff there on Granite Mountain. Really pretty. So I thought I would share those views with you guys. And then this trail kind of goes up to the nose of the ridge here and then wraps around it and drops down. So easier to get slightly less shaky video when I'm going uphill. <laughs> Obviously it's still not perfect, but better than when I'm running. And just a beautiful day today. One more look at this little forest basin area and uh, just enjoying being out here. Well, even though I really ought to be running this nice rail trail downhill, I had to take one minute to get some video as I enter Spence Basin. So this basin area is kind of my backyard forest. Thumb Butte is in the top left of the background there. And uh, the Sierra Prieta Crest Ridge in the distance. But I am gonna get running. I'm about to cross Willow Creek. And this is another really pretty area. So I wanted to get some video of this. I'm now uh, about 17 and a half miles into my run. So I've come down to this creek drainage. This is one of the larger creeks in the area. So even when some of the others dry up, this one stays running. But again, this time of year, it is certainly crossable on the rocks. And uh, I am now gonna go up Firewater and climb up to the, the top of this ridge and do a small loop on 318 and then back down on the circle trail. So I'll actually come back through here a bit later on. I hope you enjoyed the first in my uh, new series of video logs for 2019. And I'm not sure if I'll get a chance to do another one in the Prescott National Forest uh, this week, but I do hope to do some while I am on the road uh, between here and Montana. We're going to break that trip into several days, so I will have a chance to do some running in some other locations. And assuming I have time, uh, my plan is to, to do some video in those locations so that I can share that with you. Have a great day.